find angle P below. Now, something that we can really do here in order to get the value of P, we can just go ahead and trace a straight line on this side of the shape. And then once we have done that, you will agree with me that this is a point here and this is also a point here. Now, this line comes from this point and goes to the circumference. This line also comes from this point, goes to the circumference. From the same point, I have another line that goes to the circumference and another line that goes to the circumference. So it's like this chord now subtends an angle P at this point. Similarly, this chord will also subtend angle P at this point. Why? Because they are angles in the same segment. So when you have the same chord like that, suspending angles in two different triangles that go to the circumference of a circle, then the angles are equal. So this angle P is equal to this angle as well. So this place is also P. So now if you look at this line, this is a diameter now. This is a diameter, this angle that passes the center of the circle. So the diameter makes angle 90. This di diameter line makes angle 90 at the circumference of the circle. So if this diameter forms a triangle, the, tri the angle at that circumference of the triangle is equal to 90 degrees. So this angle is 90 degrees. So we can simply say P plus P is equal to 90 degrees. So this is because angle in a semicircle is right angle. So angle in a semicircle is right angle. So now I can simply say 2P, 2P is equal to 90 degrees. And then I divide both sides by P, divide both sides by P. This cancels this. And finally, I have P is equal to 90 divided by 2 is 45. So angle P is 45 degree. And that's the final answer. So please subscribe to this channel so that I can get more videos like this. Thank you.